Hello guys, a warm welcome back to the channel. It has now been six weeks since I put out the video, my final shift, the Domino's. So I left Domino's as my TikTok was performing super well and actually paying me more than my job. My videos on TikTok primarily were poor reviewed hotels in the evening. The problem I ran into was Domino's also were expecting me in the evening. Now I understand why people at the time might have been skeptical because this wasn't my first time making the video. My final shift at I have a Domino's or my final shift at Amazon to go and pursue something, whether that be real estate in another country or TikTok again. This is the second time I've left my jobs to pursue TikTok. My previous attempt at leaving my job to pursue TikTok was in January. And I think about after a week of leaving, um, a lot of people understood that I would be going back and it wasn't working out. A brief summary, my TikTok did really well in December and then in January I went to a place called Pine Lake to put more effort into it, thinking it would do even better. But my views just tanked and I ended up back at Domino's after the month. But this time's a little bit different. The level of success I had received on TikTok was a lot bigger this time and the momentum I had was also a lot bigger. And I'm happy to say six weeks later, it's not looking like we're gonna need to go back to that or to have a full-time job again. Fingers crossed. And we're gonna go into the loan later, have I paid it off now, etc. My TikToks continue to do super well, but I didn't wanna put all my eggs in one basket again, because when I've done that in the past, it hasn't particularly gone to plan. So we do still work at Amazon Flex. As you can see, I'm on a one and a half hour Amazon Fresh Amazon Fresh route now. Between Wiston and Warrington, we have four stops. This is delivering fresh food to people's doorstep. And I'm gonna get on with it. I'll speak to you afterwards. So I'd say the benefits of doing Amazon Flex as opposed to Domino's is obviously the first one being I don't need to work in the evening and I can focus on making videos then. You know, when I'm going to a lot of hotels, if I haven't got Amazon Flex, then I'm going to see my bank account slowly drop before at the end of the month, I'll get paid by TikTok and it'll go back up again. But when I'm working at Amazon Flex, it's kind of like my bank doesn't see as much of a deviation. And another thing is, it's just not putting all my eggs in that basket, which in the past has had me in quite a desperation kind of energy. And it's certainly something I don't want to be doing for too much longer, but it's, it's definitely good to have for sure. And the loan, yes, it's still not paid off. I was going through the 100 day challenge of paying off that loan. I I often saw two kinds of comments. The first kind of comment was from somebody who says, you know what, the interest on that loan isn't actually that much. I don't see why you're so desperate to pay it off early. And the second type of comment was something along the lines of, get this paid off as soon as possible. You don't want debt hanging over you and controlling your life. You know, a more conservative approach to things. People with both perspectives do make good points in my opinion. And I've just started my own limited company for my online income things are going well do kind of want to reinvest into my own business at this point i'd say with the two perspectives my idea is to go kind of in the middle of the two i see it as best to keep some to the side to pay off this loan at the end of the year and budget everything from here on out that i can put money aside to do that and at the same time reinvest into my business which has been doing so well i just cashed out my june check on tiktok and it was 2.4 four thousand pounds just for views alone and i'm thinking actually to reinvest every single penny of this back into the business but yes i see both perspectives and i think the right move for me right now is to go down the middle anyway i'm gonna go to the gym following on from that i might go to costco for dinner and then maybe even make a hotel video Well, I swear this isn't even the first attempt I've had at making this video, to be honest. So first and foremost, the most important thing is rest in peace to the children that lost their lives in Southport. It's absolutely devastating, especially with the situation being a group of young girls going to a Taylor Swift dance class. That's absolutely nuts. I'm trying to make this video a few times and ended up cutting it off short, you know. We went to Southport the following day to uh, show our respect. Uh, we were actually there during the riots. 
But I would like to respectfully say there was a lot of people protesting, not throwing bricks. And a small percentage of people throwing bricks. And I'd say a lot of people that were there, more than anything, were just distraught about the situation. Oh yeah, we watched as everything unfolded. Both sides have politicized the situation quite a lot. And obviously there are political points to be made. With that being said, what I think we should all be doing first and foremost is not forgetting those kids. To get back to the video, I made that much in June. It's now 1st of August. So what did I make in July? I made only 1.5 thousand in July. But I took a whole week off during July to uh, make the week long Amazon Flex video, which was a few videos posted before this. I'd say I'm on track of where I need to be right now. The last three months have been great. I've took my foot off the gas a little bit when it comes to the hotel videos. Now that it's just the start of August, I thought to myself, why not spend 2,000 out of this 2,400 I made last month? Planning out what we're going to do in August to make sure August is our most successful month yet. I'm probably going to be traveling quite a lot during this time in the UK just to go to these different hotels I've been recommended. <music> Guys, that was a very tasty Costco. No hotel video tonight, but as you know, things have been going well. It's time to reinvest some of what we've made and look for a little route maybe around the UK now to shortly go on a trip so I can post maybe seven days in a run and build up some of that great momentum again here in August. I'm very thankful that I left Domino six weeks ago and I don't feel now even slightly Oh, I need to go back because of how promising things are looking. And look, it could change in an instant. You never know. TikTok could be banned for all I'm saying. And if worse comes to worse, I would have to humble myself and go back to Domino's, of course. I have done it before. I could do it again. But that's the position I'm in now. Reinvest some of this money, come up with a little plan, and I'll fill you in with what that plan is in the next video. I hope you like this style of video, guys. Some people do, some people don't, but you're never going to please everyone. Really appreciate the incredible support as of recent, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.